I am one ladies man, I'm back. Okay, let's get these pasta out of the boiling water here. How many of you got a colander? Did you get your colander? Uh, I didn't get mine. I picked it out though. I know the exact one I want. Just haven't bought it yet. So let's go ahead and cheat. Let's use a, one of these utensils here. This thing's made out of plastic. And it got holes in it. Let's use that to get these pasta out. Let's put it in a bowl. Get this pasta out. Look at that steam coming off there. Put it in this bowl like this here. So, bam, 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 bam. Drain the water off. Bam, 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 bam. Now, you get your pasta in your bowl. What you, what you can do, it's totally up to you. Now, you got to get creative. You got to make things the way you want to now. So, now you... um. Yeah, now you can uh, put a little put a little butter in there for flavor. Butter is very fattening. You eat that butter, you better run around the high school track to burn that calorie off, do some exercise, or else you women are going to get fat. It's going to go good straight to your hips, your thighs, and your ass. Put some uh, olive oil in there. That'll make you fat too, right to your hips, your thighs, your ass. Um, put a little salt, a little pepper in there, season it up. You can also sprinkle some uh, grated cheese in there while it's still hot. The cheese will get melted and, you know, it tastes pretty good. So there you have pasta and this applies to anything, to spaghetti, to noodles, to elbow, anything that's pasta. You give it about 9 or 10 minutes or something like that. Also, you want to taste your pasta. Taste it and see if it tastes. Does it taste like it's cooked to you? If it's not, cook it some more. Matter of fact, what you should have done, what I should have told you, excuse me while I finish eating. That's good. What I should have told you is, before you take the pasta out, Taste it. Taste it a little bit and see if it's cooked. If it isn't cooked to your liking, let it stay some more. Remember, I'm, my goal is to get you comfortable in the kitchen. I'm starting you from scratch. Don't sell me short because you'll be highly disappointed. I do know how to cook. I used to be a chef's assistant. I can cook. I'm starting from the bottom. I'm taking it real slow, and I'm teaching you the basics, and I'm building you up. So pay attention. Put that phone down. Stop multitasking. Pay attention to what's going on here. Put your mind into what's going on and stop multitasking. Sitting there with the phone, answering your text messages, talking to your girlfriend, watching that TV show. You should be watching this. Miss one of the valuable steps and wonder why I don't turn out right. Okay, I'm stopping. You stop fussing. That's basically it. I can't think of anything else. Let me think. I'm thinking as I'm talking. I'm thinking as I'm talking. No, can't think of anything else. That is pasta cooking. And this is part two. Be sure to check out part one before you try to do part two. All right, that's it. I'm gone for the night, Friday night. In Washington, D.C. Uh, it's kind of overcast here. It's about uh, about 55, excuse me, about 55 degrees, something like that. Excuse me. When I say um, I'm in Tacoma Park, it's right close to Washington, D.C. All I have to do is just cross the street and I'm in Washington, D.C. Because that's the, that's the dividing line between Maryland and Washington, D.C. So I'm real close to Washington, D.C. Now, if I wanted to go down to, say, the White House, all I have to do is just walk down to the subway station, the Metro subway station, jump on that bad boy and ride on down. I'll be down at the White House in about, eh, about 20 minutes, something like that. 
but that's not including the time you stand there on the platform waiting for the train. So if you have to wait for the train 15 minutes, ride on it 20 minutes, you know, now you're looking at 45 minutes or so, maybe an hour. Anyway, let me shut up before my new cam my new phone cut me off. I am one lady's man. My name is Andrew, but you can call me Drew. Name of the channel, One Ladies Man Cooking for Beginners. Y'all come hang out with me the next time. We'll see what we can learn. We'll see what I can teach you. All right, I'm gone.